Okay, forecast. We follow the seven-step process for financial statement forecast. And um, in this exhibit, you, you will see the seven steps. And each step, we are going to complete uh, different forecasts. Okay, we will start from the first one, project operating revenue. Uh, first of all, here I use Apple as an example. Okay, so before you make forecasts, you should check whether you enter the numbers of prior year correctly or completely. Okay, so in most cases, if you get all zero here, that means you are ready to go. Otherwise, you should check uh, whether you make any mistakes. Okay, so for example, if there is a number here, not zero, so you should check the balance sheet of this column or this year to see, uh, you know, comparing with original financial statement to see where you make the mis uh, mistake. Okay, uh, because this uh, date tab is complete, so we move forward to the forecast development. Okay, so this companies, uh, this part shows uh, total revenue for Apple from 2014 to 2016. And these two percentage shows the percentage of change comparing with prior year. Okay, so 27.9% means the 27.9% increase in 2015 comparing with 2014 and there is a 7.7% 7 .7 decrease from 15 to 16. Now we are going to forecast the revenue from year 1 to year 5. So if we do not enter any percentage here, so the revenue from year plus 1 to year plus 5 are same as 2016. And uh, we do not directly forecast the total revenue for Apple. What we do is we forecast the revenue of each division. And first, we enter the information from each, you know, uh, if you check the 10K form or search the segment information, you can find the uh, the revenue reported for each division by Apple. Okay, let me give you an example. Just go to sec.gov in company company finding search. Enter the ticker of Apple AAPL. You can find all the filings by Apple to SEC. What we need is 10K, so we enter the filing type 10K and search. Okay, and uh, we find out Apple just released their 10K form, you know, four weeks ago, um, but uh, we use the, the latest data is in 2016, so we just click the documents. The first one is 10K form. So this is a 10K form, and uh, but I would prefer to use the interactive data of 2016. Uh, for the segmental information, you should check the notes. Okay, so here the segment information and the geographic data. Okay, so you find the segment Apple actually report its revenue into five segments Americas, Europe, Great China, Japan, rest of Asia Pacific and that's the revenue for each division from 14 to 16. So we just copy these numbers to the spreadsheet Okay, we replace the 
the name here. Okay, so you can see the five division and uh, the revenue for each division. That's a reported number. Right? And uh, you will find the total revenue. Okay, this number is the sum of this column. Okay, the sum of the revenue of, of each division. It is just same as the revenue reported here. Okay, so this is a reference to the data tab. Okay, so the next is how to forecast the revenue for each division. Actually, we should analyze the performance of each division and uh, the firm should disclose their you know the information regarding each division um, and uh, forecast you know each division case by case um, but here we just uh, uh, use a very simple method okay, the average growth rate of past two years or three years so we first calculate the growth rate for each division so the formula for the growth rate, uh, this one is first enter the bracket. It's current year, subtract prior year, right? So that's the increase in the revenue and divided by what? By the prior year. So that's the um, growth rate for 15. If I drag 7.7, .7, Negative is growth rate for 16. Okay, so and what do we do is we use the average growth rate. Okay, we first calculate the average growth rate here. Enter the average. This is a function of this two. Okay, so this cell. Oh, this function represents average growth rate for the past two years. Okay, so it's 4.7% in year plus one. See, the revenue actually of uh, year plus one is prior year revenue multiple one plus the growth rate. Okay, so next we just drag to the right. Okay. And uh, you will find that the growth rate keep decreasing or you know keep uh, becomes smoothy, right? So actually, if you click this growth rate, it just calculated the average growth rate of past two years. Actually, it's a growth rate of sixteen and year plus one. This why is average of this year plus one and year plus two. This one the growth rate is the uh, average growth rate of year plus two and here plus three okay so we keep doing this for the next uh, four oh, divisions okay. we just simply copy this okay so the Excel will work for us okay very simple but the work is not complete okay so just check the the growth rate of past two years, you find actually four out of five divisions have decrease in their sales, especially for Great China and the rest of Asia. Right. So uh, we can consider the reason is we know in 2014 Apple released. It's now iPhone 6 and 6 Plus. And uh, we know that's a newer model of iPhone and uh, the sales just boost, okay? Especially in China and some country in Asia. But the uh, decrease in next year, the reason is why? Because uh, next year is uh, iPhone 6 S and uh, 6 
as plus, right? So not big change. And uh, the, the demand of the newer model iPhone decreased in 2016. Or some other reasons caused these abnormal changes. Okay, for this type of you know abnormal changes, we do not use the average. Okay, because the huge change for the revenues is not too predictable for us. The average growth rate is meaningless. So what we do is we simply just assume the growth rate is flat rate three percent in the future. Okay, so we I enter three percent here and for the rest of here and uh, here three percent. So actually three percent later on, you will know it is a uh, long run growth rate. Okay, you already you know. Uh, for example, the economy of the uh, United States is um, a nominal GDP growth rate is about 3%, right? So we just assume the companies share the same growth rate, which is more reliable than just uh, roughly based on the average growth rate, right? Okay, after this, let's see what happened. We have the revenue forecast for the next five years for each division and the dollar amount are all here for five divisions and the total revenue for Apple from year plus one to year plus five is a number in this row okay and also Excel calculate the growth rate for the revenue for us Okay, so which is reasonable because currently in 2017 Apple issued the new iPhone 8 and the iPhone 10, so it should have great increase in the sales, right? So actually, if you find the sales of uh, revenue of Apple, actually you know there is a like cycle, two years cycle, right? Okay, and that growth rate is pretty, you know. Uh, reasonable okay so that's the first step 